Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, once again, I would like to welcome you all for V2V Shikshana program on microcontroller. In the last class, we are discussing about how to design a 8051 microcontroller, wherein we have discussed uh, how to interface the external ROM and external RAM to 8051. So, in the last class, we are discussing about interfacing of 16 kilobytes of ROM and 32 kilobytes of RAM with a starting address of uh, ROM is 0000H and starting address of RAM is 8000H. And uh, we have discussed in detail about how to solve this problem. Uh, the basically we need to keep in mind first and foremost we should know how much amount of uh, external memory we would like to interface with 8051. So in the, in the problem uh, the ROM size is 16 kilobyte and RAM size is 32 kilobyte. So using these two data we need to find out the number of address lines required. So we have discussed that uh, the memory size of ROM is 16 kilobyte. So for getting uh, 16 kilobyte using the equation 2 to the power of n is equal to 16 uh, we get n is equal to 14 that means for n is equal to 14 that is 2 to the power of 14 we will get 16 uh, kilobyte. So we have a <coughs> address lines from A0 to A15 in 8051 as we have discussed in the pin diagram of 8051. So out of those 16 lines uh, for 16 kilobyte of ROM we require 14 address lines that means A0 to A13. So uh, question comes is what we need to do uh, for remaining uh, two address lines that is A14 and then A15. So along with A14 and then A15 and then one more pin that is PSEN. So all these three are given as an input to the OR gate and the output of OR gate is given to chip select of uh, ROM. So we need to keep uh, this A14, A15 and PSEN low that means uh, the output of or is 0 then only the ROM is selected. So this we have discussed in the previous class and also we have calculated the number of address lines required for uh, RAM and RAM size in the given problem is 32 kilobyte. So for getting uh, 32 kilobyte again we have used the equation 2 to the power of n is equal to 32 kilobyte. Again, we need to keep in mind uh, this 32 kilobyte is the given size of RAM. So for n is equal to 15, we will get 32 kilobyte that is 2 to the power of 15 is equal to uh, 32 kilobyte. So that means in case of the RAM, we require 15 address lines that is from A0 to A14. And again, question comes is what we need to do with A15. So a15 is given to NOT gate again that is given to chip select again keep in mind that uh, when A15 is high then RAM is selected when 14, 15 and PSCN is low then uh, uh, ROM is selected. So this we have discussed in the previous uh, class further uh, for the selection of RAM the PSCN is used as chip select for read and for write right so we are using the read and write pins so the starting address of uh, rom is given as 000h so we have written the binary equivalent of 0000 as the starting address so you can see that all zeros we are using 16 bit zeros is the starting address of rom which is given and further we are using 16 kilobyte of uh, rom uh, and we are interfacing that so the end result will be uh, as we know that we have found out 2 to the power of n is equal to 16. So we require 13 address lines. So all the 13 address lines is made as 1. So remaining 2 address lines that is A14 and then A15 we have kept as 0. And write the hexadecimal equivalent of this. So 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. And then all ones 1, 1, 1, 1 is F. So the starting address of uh, 16 kilobyte of ROM is 0000 which is given in the problem and then the end result uh, end address is 3FFF. Similarly for 
finding the starting address and end address of 32 kilobyte of ram so again the starting address of ram is given as 8000 and we have written the binary equivalent of this and then we have calculated for 32 kilobyte we require uh, uh, 14 address lines that is a0 to a14 we have kept it as an one and again uh, for selecting the ram uh, we have discussed that a15 should also be high so the starting address of 32 kilobyte of ram is 8000 and then the end uh, address of 32 kilobyte of ram is uh, ffff and further we have uh, discussed the, the block diagram of 8051 and then how to interface uh, rom and then ram so you can see that uh, port 0 0.0 to 0 0.7 is used for uh, both address and data lines and then using latch we are demultiplexing it so d0 to d7 and you can see a0 to a7 from the latch and as we have discussed that total we require 13 address lines so out of 13 a0 to a7 are we are getting from port uh, 0 and then remaining uh, a8 to a13 we are getting from port 2 so total a0 to a13 address lines are connected to uh, rom and then uh, as uh, we have discussed the a14 and a15 and then psn are given to the or gate and output of or gate is given to chip select so this uh, is uh, shows the how to interface uh, rom with 8051 similarly for ram also uh, you can see that the same uh, d0 to d7 is given to ram and a0 to a7 but there is a, a change of what a8 to a13 is given uh, to ram also but for 32 uh, kilobyte of ram uh, the difference between uh, rom and ram is what 16 and then 32 so here we require only 14 address lines but for ram we require 15 address lines so uh, uh, after a13 a14 is also given to uh, RAM and then uh, port 3.6 and port 3.7 which basically about uh, read and write are connected to the RAM. So this is how we need to interface the external uh, memory whether it is ROM and RAM to 8051. So basically the important thing uh, we need to keep in mind is uh, the amount of uh, RAM and ROM we want to interface with 8051 and then the second important uh, aspect is the starting address so once we know the starting address of rom and then ram and with the uh, knowledge of amount of uh, rom and ram we want to interface we will get the end address also we will discuss uh, one or two more examples of uh, how to interface because as i said uh, in the previous class uh, this this is very important question uh, being an electronic engineer once we are uh, discussing this microcontroller we should be able to know how to interface the external memory to 8051 so there is one more question design a microcontroller system using 8051 here we want to interface a external rom of only 4 kilobyte again uh, keep in mind that sometimes this is mentioned as 4 kilobyte or 4k into 8 is 8 is what the byte that means bits so taking the uh, previous knowledge previous example knowledge the rom size is 4 kilobyte so given memory size is 4 kilobyte and uh, use the same uh, equation 2 to the power of n is equal to 4 kilobyte from this we will get the number of address lines we require so for n is equal to 12 we will get 4 kilobyte so for this problem that means for the interfacing of 4 kilobyte of rom we require uh, 12 address lines that is from a0 to a11 then again uh, uh, as we have 15 that is 16 address lines a0 to a15 that means a12 a13 a14 and then a15 that means remaining four address lines along with uh, uh, psn we need to connect it to the or gate and then the output of our gate is connected to the chip select so again uh, that means a12 to a13 a14 a15 should be zero then only rom is selected so in this case uh, the starting address is not given 
so default starting address will take it as an 0000 so you can uh, see that the starting address of uh, 4 kilobyte of rom uh, we have taken as all zeros so in terms of x it is 0000 and then we need to find out the end address for this 4 kilobyte of rom so how will find out the end address so a0 to a11 all we have made it as an 1 and then a12 to a15 we have taken as 0 for selecting the from again convert these uh, binary into its hexadecimal equivalent so first is 0 0 0 0 and the rest of the bits are 1 1 1 1 so the end address of 4, 4 kilobyte of ROM that can be interfaced to 8051 is 0 f f f h so then uh, again further is what as uh, in this uh, problem it is only ROM which is to be interfaced so now we will look at the block diagram so there is an 8051 uh, to which we need to interface 4 kilobyte of ROM so you can see that again port 0 0.0 to 0 0.7 that is uh, d0 to d7 is connected to 4 kilobyte of ROM and then again we are using a uh, latch uh, to demultiplex uh, data and address lines so we are getting a0 to a7 and for a 4 kilobyte of uh, ROM interfacing we calculated that we require only um, 12 address lines out of 12 a0 to a7 are here and remaining a8 to a11 are taken from port 2.0 to remaining bits then um, also we have discussed that uh, the uh, remaining address lines a12 a13 a14 a15 and then pscn and uh, for read and write all are given to or gate and that is connected to chip select of 4 kilobyte of rom and then to read so this is how uh, we need to interface uh, the uh, given amount of uh, rom to the 8051 further uh, we will discuss uh, one more example wherein uh, design a microcontroller system using 8051 here uh, the amount of ROM that we want to interface is 8 kilobyte and then uh, both ROM and RAM are 8 kilobyte and also starting address of both ROM and RAM as given as 0000H and then E000H. So in this, in this uh, numerical uh, we need to interface both uh, ROM and then RAM uh, with a 8 kilobyte size. So again uh, as already we have discussed two numericals so we should be able to uh, calculate the number of address lines required for both ROM and then RAM. So first we will calculate the uh, number of address lines required for 8 kilobyte of ROM. So again use the same equation 2 to the power of n is equal to 8k. So for n is equal to 13 we will get 8k so we require uh, 13 address lines that is from A0 to A12. Similarly for RAM also as the size of RAM is also 8 kilobyte uh, for RAM also we require same address lines A13 uh, address lines A0 to A12. So you can see that uh, as only 13 address lines are required, 12. That means left out address lines are A13, A14 and then A15 along with PSEN are given to OR gate and output of OR gate is given to chip select of ROM. So again we need to keep in mind that when low uh, ROM is selected. Uh, for RAM also uh, again as we have discussed only 13 lines are required. So A12 to A13 address lines. So remaining A13, A14 and A15 are given to NAND gate and output of NAND gate is given to uh, chip select. So when high uh, data RAM is selected. So this also we have discussed uh, PSN is used as chip select pin for ROM and then read and write are, are used for RAM. Then coming to interfacing, uh, sorry before that we need to calculate the starting and uh, end address of for uh, RAM, ROM and then RAM. Uh, keep in mind that uh, both uh, uh, ROM and RAM size is 8 kilobyte. Uh, again the starting address uh, for ROM is given as all 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 h 
we have written the binary equivalent of this and for finding out the end address uh, as we require uh, 13 address lines from A0 to A12 so we have made all these bits is equal to 1 remaining 13, 14 and then 15 bits are 0 for selecting ROM so convert these into hexadecimal so this gives 0, 0, 0, 1 to 1 and then all ones means F so the end address of 8 kilobyte of ROM with a starting address of 0, 0, 0, 0 is 1 F, 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 uh, hex similarly for uh, finding out the uh, starting and end address of 8 kilobyte of RAM again uh, starting address of RAM is given as E000 and then uh, uh, for finding out the end address of 8 kilobyte of RAM uh, we need uh, 13 address lines so A0 to A12 we have made is equal to 1 and for selecting RAM A13, A14 and A15 needs to be 1 so all ones are there so if you are converting this into hexadecimal so end result will get it is an f f f f with a starting address of e000 for a 8 kilobyte of uh, ram so this is how uh, we need to calculate the starting and uh, end address and again a uh, block diagram so there is a 8051 there is a 8 kilobyte of rom there is a 8 kilobyte of ram so uh, D0 to D7, A0 to A7 will be getting from port 0.0, .0 to port 0.7 as we require 13 address lines. So uh, A8 to A12 we are getting from port 2. Then uh, left out address lines along with PSN is given to OR gate and then that is uh, output of OR gate is connected to chip select of uh, ROM and then read of uh, ROM. Again, uh, uh, there is a uh, difference we need to be able to find out for ROM uh, it is only given to read for RAM uh, both uh, write and read is used because ROM is read only memory so it is be basically being used for reading the data whereas RAM both uh, read and write are possible so uh, for uh, interfacing 8 kilobyte of RAM Again, uh, D0 to D7 remain same, A0 to A7 remain same, uh, A8 to A12 remain same. Uh, then remaining uh, address lines, A13, A14 and A15 are given to NAND gate and that is given to chip select. Then uh, uh, right and read pins of 8051 are connected to right, right and read pins of uh, RAM. So this is how we need to interface. There is one more example. Uh, explain the interfacing of 16 kilobyte of EPROM and 8 kilobyte of RAM to 8051 microcontroller. This question is asked in the previous examination. Uh, uh, again, don't get confused with what up till now we have discussed only the interfacing of ROM, but here he is asking EPROM. So uh, ROM stands for read only memory. PROM stands for programmable read only memory uh, whereas uh, EEPROM stands for erasable there is one more version EEPROM that is electrically erasable programmable ROM so whether it is ROM or PROM or EPROM or EEPROM uh, the procedure remains same so here we need to interface 16 kilobyte of EPROM and 8 kilobyte of RAM so again address lines are given this I have not solved uh, I would like to uh, request the students to solve this uh, 16 kilobyte of ROM means means for which value of n we will get uh, 16 so those many address lines we require and for again uh, for selection of RAM uh, 8 uh, kilobyte of ROM is there uh, RAM is there so again we will get the uh, address lines by using equation 2 to the power of n is equal to 8k and for 2 to the power of n is equal to 16k. So the number of address lines required for ROM and RAM in this problem will be different because uh, because the number of uh, address lines are different here. 
for 8k and then 16k so uh, here uh, th there is a difference that uh, no uh, starting address lines are given here so what we can do is So what we can do here is uh, uh, number of address lines are different. So you calculate that starting address end uh, is not given. So we can start with uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. So I would like to request all the students to uh, solve this. Now coming to uh, basic question of what? basic question is uh, for example we would like to do a uh, mini project uh, using microcontroller so there are many mini projects that can be done and uh, the question is uh, how to select a microcontroller so there are many parameters using that uh, we can uh, select the a particular microcontroller so there are different uh, issues are there that needs to be uh, discussed. So you can see that there are different types of microcontrollers available and assume that we would like to use any one of the microcontrollers. So if you don't know uh, the basic questions of the microcontrollers then I uh, will be making a wrong decision of uh, selecting a microcontroller. So there are few 8 to 9 basic questions are there. Uh, using those basic questions, uh, we can easily select a microcontroller that suits to a uh, that particular task. So first and uh, foremost uh, question is, for example, a bit selection of a microcontroller. Now uh, in the beginning of the uh, this model, we have discussed that there are various types of microcontroller which are available that means 8 bit microcontroller 16 bit microcontroller and then 32 bit microcontroller so basically we have discussed the meaning of 8 bit 16 bit and then 32 bit here are the number of bits basically refers to number of data lines what we have the more number of data lines will increase the performance of a microcontroller so look at the given task what task we would like to complete and for that task whether we require 8 bit microcontroller or 16 bit microcontroller or 32 bit microcontroller so uh, looking into that parameter we need to select either a 8 bit microcontroller or a 16 bit microcontroller or a 32 bit microcontroller for example we have an application where a 8 bit microcontroller is sufficient but we, if we don't know this then we may wrongly select a either 16 bit microcontroller or 32 bit microcontroller there the cost comes into picture and unnecessarily we are using a higher uh, bit uh, microcontroller so first uh, first uh, selection criteria is uh, 